So here's level two. So I just beat level one, and you can see I have a stage clear bonus, and I unlocked a new mech. Um, now this whole game is mechs and walkers versus tanks. Um, tanks, of course, being the bad guys, and unfortunately their tanks are epic uh, on later levels. So now that I have 674 credits here, um, I'm going to upgrade my units. Tanker. Now if you notice the tanker has, right now, 2,000 hit points, and at level 2 it's going to have 2,400. You can see the plus 400 here. And the machine gunner has 300 health. So you can see how a tanker with 2,000 is going to be much more effective in taking shots than the machine gun. Um, also, the missile is a little heavier duty as well than the machine gunner. So I'm going to upgrade my tanker so I can take some more hits. And then I have enough to upgrade my missiles. So now they're level 2 and you can see the missile instead of costing 150 credits now costs 160 and the tanker instead of costing 200 costs 220. So I'm going to build a missile and a couple of tankers. And you can see this this game already it's it's the same exact thing on every level except for their units get stronger and they come in more waves and you have to upgrade your units to parallel theirs or else you're going to get destroyed. Um, if you just blaze straight through the levels and just keep going next stage, next stage, next stage, it's going to get very hard very quickly. Um, what I found out is if you maybe play 10 levels at a time and then go back and play those 10 levels again, um, you stay in a much higher chance of surviving in the next 10 levels you play because you're going to have that much re more research and you're going to get through those levels a little quicker because your units will be upgraded and you're going to collect more things and, and the base upgrade um the cell research helps your cell count up faster it's it really makes only a slight slight difference so it's worth it yes but I think the, the biggest research is the the credit research and the cell storage. When you increase your cell storage, you can have more cell up there, so you can produce a larger army at the same time. But it also increases the amount of cell you start with. I think it's about maybe 20% of your total you start with, so if you upgrade it a lot you're gonna start out with you know instead of 200 you're gonna start out with a thousand or twelve hundred and you can just keep massing units and massing units and throwing those tankers out there in front of your guys and and you can actually have you know only four or five actual offensive units destroy an entire base so long as you just keep pumping the tankers out there to absorb the damage the enemy's not going to shoot at your offensive units and they're going to survive. So now you can see they're they're sending out multiple units. You know, these guys are like level 1. The greenish tanks are level 2. The brownish tanks are I think level 3, but Yeah. Just keep clicking them, just keep sending them in one by one. And you can see that the enemy always fires at the unit that's in front of them. Um, unless they're getting shot at by somebody else, they won't change targets. And they're going to just pursue one enemy at a time until they're done. Um, that might be simple AI, but it's something you can definitely take advantage with, which is what I'm using these tankers for. So you can see I only have three missile units, but those three missile units are tearing the enemy apart. You can see the units slowly reaching their destination. And you have your map up in the top left. Blue, blue units are yours, the green dots your base. Very, very simple. Also, the the nukes. Let's drop a nuke. 
right at their base. You can see a stealth bomber fly over and oh yeah, destroyed. You can upgrade your missile drops as well, which you need to later on. You can also buy the missile drops. Say so if I click on the nuke, I can buy one for 300 credits or upgrade it for 500, but you know, you're not going to really need your missile drops till the later levels, and once you do need them, you're going to have such a huge stockpile that you're not even going to need to buy any. And then if you're running low, you can just, you know, go back to level 1 and collect 3 or 4 nukes at a time, you know, a couple missile drops and napalm. So, the ability to replay the levels really comes in handy. Great way to pass 5 or 10 minutes on your phone. Also, if there's units in the sidebar that you don't really use, so I'm not really going to use my turrets at all, so in order to avoid confusion, I can uninstall them from the sidebar. See, now they have a mass of units up there. So my tankers are just absorbing all the damage while my units are pounding the base. So hopefully their base will be destroyed before they pass by my tankers. And then as soon as the base is destroyed, all the other units are destroyed as well. Boom. See, I just got three nukes from beating that level. So if I was going to buy those, that would cost me, you know, 900 credits. So save some money to go back and replay the older levels. So there's level two of HM Defense for the iPhone.